All right, welcome back. Oba Sanjo reacts to agitation for Nigerians' breakup. Obasanjo reacts to agitation for Nigerians' breakup, and then as it is, the former president Olusegun Obasanjo has disagreed with those calling for the breakup of Nigeria. His major concern is what would be the fate of the minority ethnic groups in the nation after the breakup. Obasanjo spoke at his penthouse residence, Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, OOPL, in Abeokuta when he played host to members of Chief Professionals Group TPG, led by Professor Zakari Anga Gundu. All right, and then as it is, according to Obasanjo's secessionist in the country, have failed to take account of the fact that there are many minority groups in Nigeria. He said if the likes of Yoruba Igbo and Yoruba and Hausa Fulani ethnic groups stand alone, the minority group may be oppressed as they would turn out to be smaller countries. All right, if the Yorubas can stand as a country, if the Igbos can stand as a country, if the Hausa Fulanese can stand as a country, if you major if you major tribes decide to break up from the country, where do you want the minority ethnic groups to stand? That many Nigerians don't know about, unfortunately. Well, if Nigeria breaks up and they are in her smaller country, they will be oppressed. They will always be exterminated. Are we thinking of that? He asked. Lately, the call for the division of Nigeria is being heightened by Bihafra agitators in the southeast and their counterparts in the southwest who are calling for the Ojudua Republic. All right, my people, and then that has been it on this one Obasanjo react to agitation for Nigerians' breakup. All right, well, it is gathered that Obasanjo can never allow breakup because if he allowed it, it means the reasons fighting for the war Nigeria for three years are defeated about the minority, the fringe. I want him to I want him to know that there is no minority in Nigeria again because of civilization. All right, well said. This is why the South South will never join ne will never join neither Bihafra or Odidua. All right, Obasanjo, be careful in this country that has been said by Efiong Mitchell. Well, according to Umo Silke, says another old fool. Well, in your concern for your oil wealth, okay, or for the minority groups, be truthful, please. This has been said by guests, okay. And then it is said that Bola Baba Obasanjo, leave fools alone. Which country superpower will help? Well, will help them to get Bihafra. In Amde Kano, go USA, UK, Turkey, German, and Israel. They don't listen to him. All right, they take him as terrorists. Remember, you cannot get Bihafra without superpower backup. Today, no country will support ESN IPOP terrorists to get Bihafra. No, that country in the world. All right, okay, no that country in the world to support Biafra and uh, no ESN. Well, that has been taken well. Meanwhile, according to Dian Josie, I said, Baba, if there is one person to blame, it is you. You contributed a lot to our woes. Well, a lot of comments keep coming in and a lot of people have been able to, you know, hear them hear their minds okay and then on one of those you no know, comments it has been said that nigerians know that you don't just want to speak your mind openly yoga 
na no group will be oppressed nobody is an infant anymore all right and then a lot of things are actually being said onto this one okay well the truth of the matter is the reason why majority in fact on a very good day nobody would have been soliciting for separation from the country but the level to which the you know the situation of the country has put a lot of people that is why you see many you no know, many people doing jobs that they are not even supposed to do yes majority of people are underemployed simply because of the economic system now majority of people are agitating for separation simply because they are not well treated you are working like an elephant and eating like an ant and a lot of people are like this madness must stop yes it must stop simply because we cannot continue like this where our generation unborn what do you them to meet what do you want them to meet what do you want them to you know gain so that is why everybody is out this time around to tell it to them the way it is that either you like it or not we are going our separate ways well a lot of people have said it all we are going our separate ways but meanwhile a lot of things are also transpired whereby some set of people have made up their minds to to impeach the federal government and a lot of rumors have been going viral and then the presidency on that on his part has said that there's not nobody can make that happen well we the whole the way the whole thing is just you no know, going a lot of people are not happy a lot of people are not happy now majority of people cannot even eat three square meal in a day yes that is the worry then are we going to be quiet and allow this to continue no and that is where the problem lies how long are you going to are we going to be in a country whereby there will not be light power supply can never be stable for one day too bad there is no light there is no food no a lot of things have gone wrong but our prayer is that the good lord will continue to uphold us and uh, i still pray that the good lord will continue to fight for his people anybody who believes that he is god the judgment is just very very easy now by the time you are being handed over to god and then uh, your case will be sorry all right my people that has been it on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless